To remain compliant, nonprofits must adhere to various federal and state regulations. Each state has specific requirements, but many mandate that charitable nonprofits file an annual report with the Secretary of State. This report typically includes the organization's current address, a list of officers, and the registered agent. Ensuring the nonprofit maintains good standing and can qualify for tax exempt status for sales and use tax purposes. On the federal side, nonprofits must file an annual Form 990 informational return with the IRS. This form provides detailed information about the organization's operations, transactions, revenue, expenses, assets, and liabilities. It does not calculate tax liability as the entity is exempt under IRS Code Section 501C. There are five versions of Form 990, mainly Form 990, the standard return for large nonprofits, Form 990EZ, shorter version, and 990N, also known as the e postcard. Two very helpful websites for ensuring compliance are Foundation Group provides resources and guidance on federal and state compliance, and National Council of Nonprofits, which offers a detailed information on the specific requirements for each state. In the next set of videos, I will share resources offering business, financial, and employee information on nonprofits, along with guidance on filing an annual report with your state, requesting a certificate of good standing, changing the registered agent, searching for financial information on nonprofits via the IRS website and other resources, and filing the tax form 990. First, on the state side, we will search for nonprofit information on the Secretary of State websites for Illinois and California and file an example annual report. In Illinois, go to ilsos.gov and select the drop down menu under Business. Then go to Search Businesses. Click the Search the Database under Corporation slash LLCs Entity Database. You can use number of different criteria to search for a specific nonprofit information. You can start searching with a business name or who is the registered agent, president, etc. If you have the file number, which is a unique identifier assigned to each nonprofit at the time of registration, you can use that. If you don't have any of that information, you can also use a keyword. I'm going to search for a fraternity organization, so I will use Sigma as a keyword. I got over 500 entries as a result. The summary research result table provides me with each entity's unique file number, entity type, including nonprofits, LLCs, corporations, and limited partnerships, entity name, current status, registration date, and the registered agent on file. Since I am interested in finding nonprofit information, I will use the filter option to only show me NFPs, which stands for not-for-profit. I can quickly tell which entities have been dissolved, merged or consolidated, are active or are active but not in good standing meaning maybe an annual report is missing. If I click on the Sigma organization, I can see all the publicly available business information for this nonprofit. It gives me some general business information as well as has some additional options at the bottom, like being able to purchase a certificate of good standing for the entity or changing the registered agent information. Under Filing History, I can see a link to a digital copy of the annual reports. I can click on any of the reports to download it and view it. Similarly to Illinois, go to California Secretary of State website, then select Business in the top menu. Then click on the BIS file online 
and select search on the left to search the California Business Entity Database. I can search by entity name or file number. I will type in Kappa and press return. There are also advanced search options such as entity type, status, and filing date that you can use to search for different organizations. Similarly, as with the Illinois database, you have a summary result with entity information, initial filing date, current status, type of entity, and the current registered agent. If I select any of the entities, I will see a brief summary of the business on the right. When you select the view history, you will get access to any filings with the California Secretary of State. Some of the documents have a digital copy that you can download and view. That is how we can search for and find annual reports for nonprofits. What about filing an annual report? How do you go about that? First, follow the earlier instructions to locate the nonprofit on your state's Secretary of State website. Let's use Illinois as an example. Go to ilsos.gov. Select business at the top. If you don't know the file number, start by using the search businesses option to find it first. If you do know the file number for your organization, select file and annual report. You can file annual reports for corporations, limited liability companies, and not-for-profit entities here, which is what we want. First, enter the file number. If you don't know it, click the Find a Corporate File Number below, which takes you to the Search Businesses place. I'm going to go back and enter the corporation file number. The first screen displays the entity name, date of incorporation, and the address for the register agent. You need to confirm these details at the bottom. Regardless if you say yes or no, you will have to enter the principal place of business for the organization. The next section asks for the officers' names, titles, and addresses. If you don't enter the address information, you will get an error message and you will need to correct it. The next screen is similar as it asks for the board of directors. For many small nonprofits, the top three people are often the same. So to save time, copy the officers' names from previous screen to a notepad and paste them here. Under statement, briefly describe the nonprofit activities conducted by the corporation, such as ones listed here. Finally, you will need to answer two questions about cooperative housing and homeowners associations. You may have different questions depending on the state where you are filing. Before you proceed, you will have an opportunity to review all the information you entered and make any edits. Only an authorized corporate officer can sign the annual report under penalty of perjury, so only file annual report if you are authorized to do so. Next, you will be directed to the payment screen. If you're filing late, there might be a small late filing penalty. Provide billing information for the credit card that will be used to pay for the annual report. Here are examples of how annual reports for nonprofits can look in four different states Illinois, California, Iowa, and Florida. They all contain very similar information. Thanks so much for watching. 